Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Speed here and today we're playing Huskar Jungle as a request of Boki69. <laughs> uh, it says play Huskar Jungle like VP did. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, VP, a professional team in a professional match, not a pub, in an official in DPC1 of EU, uh, no, not EU, I think CIS, picked Huskar Jungle and won the game in 15 minutes. Yes, Huskar Jungle is actually legit. I've played it before. I played it actually after I watched VP uh, save play it and he popped off. So I'm like, oh, th that's awesome. I played it in a pub. Now I'm going to show it to you guys. It is completely legit. You're about to tell me speed. You're, you're a fool. You don't know what you're talking about. You're insane. No, in pubs, often the greedier the better. Whether or not people want to hear that, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like speed. You're, you're just saying this. I genuinely believe that to be the case, you know. For instance, this Blue Moon guy, you know, I picked Oscar. He says, in almost every game, I want to win. And then someone on my team picks some, mm, 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 mm. Uh, you know, I get it. Like, I understand where he's coming from. I, w I would assume most games where you have a jungle Huskar, you'd probably lose faith in your team. And I fully understand that. But I'm going to show you guys why, in the famous words of No Tell, anything can work. So if you're excited for today's video, I'd uh, genuinely appreciate it if you guys could smash the like button. And subscribe to the channel we put in a lot of hard work into these videos whether or not it's to me the editor uh you know i've been behind the um the seo tom behind the thumbnails both behind the editing you know we got a whole crew so we do put a lot of effort to make sure you guys can get high quality videos every single day and uh yeah so if you could click the like button subscribe to the channel and consider getting a game leaps up you know it really does help you get to the next rank and it also does help you find the women of your dreams <laughs> i'll stop <laughs> Uh, apparently someone told me in the, in the comments I could get sued for false advertising. But, uh, I don't know. Let's just play some a jungle Huskar. Hey, any matchup against me is favorable. <laughs> Blue Moon is popping off. All right, so the key to Huskar jungle, the first thing you have to do is you have to chop all these trees. It's very crucial so that you can jungle this camp. This camp is very important because you can actually farm this camp. And funny enough, I got really lucky. I actually only know how to play... Huskar on Dire, and I didn't even pay attention. I could have been on Radiant. I would have been, I would have been pretty done for. But yeah, make sure if you're gonna do this, only do it on um, Dire. Otherwise, it's very, very hard to jungle because you don't have this hill camp, and you can farm this without taking any damage. But yeah, you want to cut down these trees, all of them, including the low ground one, and then you want to cut these trees as well, and then you're vibing. And in terms of items, you just want to rush armlet. It's that simple. Just lets you farm fast, and it lets you roach. Yeah, you heard that right. It lets you roach. Hopefully I don't mess up the Roche. <laughs> that would be so tragic, but hey, I'm going to do it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. You know, it's really funny on my main account. Yeah, my main account and like a rank 300 average game or lower. I had someone play Luna Jungle. We did lose. Uh, I don't feel like we had to lose necessarily, but we did lose. And uh, he actually sapped mid XP at level one, which is just, <laughs> I mean, dude, that's messed up. Like, you know, I don't care if you jungle. I just care if you like intentionally grief other lanes you know because if you take like half a level from mid you can completely change how they can play the lane you know? especially at a high level a half a level completely can change a lane so uh, it's just not that that i don't that i don't respect you know i i'm pretty insane but i have i have my boundaries <laughs> oh look at this monkey king any matchups favorable against him can't get the jingu though or the cogs i guess uh that, oh look trolls already beating our guy i wonder if this is a smurf it's not uh-oh, Void Spirit's losing mid. He's going to be the reason why we lose. Looks like our Bristle's doing fine, which is great. I'd expect him to do okay in that lane. Witch Doctor's pretty good against Bristle, though. All right, here we go. Now, when you're playing Huskar Jungle, it's pretty important that you farm this up. Oh, I got the Troll Camp. But you don't want to tank too much damage. Early on, it's okay to take in a decent amount, just so you get some attack speed. But these Troll Camps do so much damage, I'm not too confident I can take tank it too hard. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to just draw aggro out. Just because of this camp. If it was a different camp, then I would uh, tank it a bit harder. And yeah, I don't want to fight the skeletons, but all right, it's going well. You can see your hero with a lot of attack speed and the Quelling Blade, it really does farm very, very fast. You know, it's actually quite insane how fast Huskar can farm. And then the nice thing here is that after you farm this camp and you're low, then you use your attack speed to farm this camp and you'll see that it's completely safe. It's completely free, right? And yeah, you just do it exactly like this. And you auto attack it down. And uh, it's that easy. It's really that efficient. Now, I do want to try to get the stack if possible. I'm going to stop hitting it now just to try to stack it. I should get that. 
Nice. I do want to take a little bit of damage here, just to lower my HP, right? So I can get that extra attack speed. Alright, that should be good, because now we have Burning Spears, so I don't need the creeps to lower my HP. I can use the Burning Spears to do that. I'll kill off the Seder Creep, just because it gives them regen. How many Burning Spears do I need to kill this thing? Alright, popping off. Now, when you're this low on HP, obviously you need to draw the camp back. I have no interest in dying, and I am paying a, a bit of attention to their position 4. I obviously do not want to die to their position 4. That would be uh, quite the disaster. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm taking a little bit too much damage here. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much damage. Oh, why do these creeps go out so far? Honestly, I almost just want to hit the other camp at this point. This camp is so awkward to farm. I'm going to hit this other camp until I'm level 3. Just because it's so much safer. I guess this, this range camp might actually hit me. Oh no. Nice. This is why this is so good, dude. I literally don't know how you would jungle on Dire. I mean on Radiant. I feel like it'd be so bad. But this camp, it's no problem. Oh, now it's hitting me. What the heck? The interaction of this camp is so weird. And yeah, you don't want to level up your Burning Spears. You want to le level up uh, Berserker's Blood. Just because, like, it gets so much better. The uh, the region you get is so much higher. So once you get level 3, that's when things really start to take off. And Earth Spear's kind of in the area. I guess he's just securing the rune. So looks like he doesn't know what's up. Pog. Oh, got to start chopping down these trees now. I will try to clear up this camp now. I hope they don't gank me here. <laughs> Alright, we almost got the Helm of Iron Will too, which is big. That is massive. Gives us that armor, a little bit of extra regen. Should be able to kill this if I spam Burning Spears. I should be able to kill this before the respawn timer. It's good. Make sure we don't block it. And uh, yeah, now we're level 4. And you can see, you know, other lanes are going to be about level 4 as well. So you can basically just keep on track with the other lanes. And frankly, like... I don't think players at most brackets are good enough to crush their lanes. Like, they just don't, like, they don't, like, play well enough to do that. And so your offlaner tends to do pretty okay. I'm not going to say he's doing great. I don't know. But he's probably doing all right, to be honest. To the point where it, it sort of justifies what I'm doing to an extent. Not completely. I would still say what I'm doing is psychotic. But to an extent, I, I would say it justifies it. And now, now that we got all these levels, whoo, we can start clearing out. Three jungle camps. I mean, it, things are getting spicy. We're really turning up the pace here. And now that we're level 5, this is where things become pretty insane, you know. Level 5, I essentially have infinite HP at this point. So, this one I can I can clear out, you know, almost the entirety of the jungle now. Which is pretty insane, even if I misclick like I did there. So, we'll kill off this camp. I mean, the big creep as fast as possible, just to reduce the armor. Then we'll walk up to this camp. And, uh, wow, it's going great. I love the fact that I'm not getting ganked. It's so convenient. Now, I do need to use my Burning Spears as much as possible. I have way too much HP here. It's really limiting my farming speed a bit. Ha, <laughs> they're Flaming Void Spirits. Yeah, I told you. It's always what people do. Like, that's why they always like to say people love to predict. They love to pre- God. <laughs> the hunt is gonna kill me. But people love to predict like what la what they think the other lanes will do, and then they flame them if it doesn't go to like if it doesn't go accordingly, they flame them. Now you want to buy a smoke as soon as possible. And the purpose of this smoke is to roche. Yeah, you heard that right, the roche. No, no, I use this to roche, and he can have it. I knew you were gonna grief the game, man. Yes, yes, I am griefing. I am griefing. We will not win this game. There is no chance we win because I took your neutral item. That is how Dota works. Yo, you don't give me exactly what I want. I cannot play. Honestly, at this point, I'll just wait till level 7 to Roche. Alright, let's go. We got our level 7. We got our trusty shovel as well. Now let's pop our, pop our smoke. Head into the Roche bit, baby. 
Also leave our boots over here. Looks like we lost our mid tower. Now hopefully no one walks into the Roche pit. That would be tragic. And honestly, it's pretty easy to mess up this Roche, I'll be honest. Like, you kind of have to like not mess up the toggle at all. Oh no, don't bash me again. No, no, no. No! No! I knew it because I clicked! No! No, 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 no. No! No, no, no. Hopefully they're not paying attention. No! I knew I misclicked too because sometimes if you get bashed and you still click it, no, hopefully they weren't paying attention. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't think they're paying attention because Troll's not going to it. Oh my god. No, no, no. Ugh. Dude, I'm literally having a panic attack right now. Oh my god. It's so low. Roche is so low. I'm burning my team's entire smoke inventory for Roche. No, they fly rocket flared. I have to wait out the rocket flare. There's a DD, I'm not even gonna go for it. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? I would have had Aegis in this game, would be chilling, and now I'm gonna get kicked out. Are you serious, man? That makes me so frustrated. I I would have taken tempo control of this game so hard, man. Also, does my CM not want to home? I'll take it, no problem. Oh, well, you can see that this strategy works quite well <laughs> if you don't mess that up. My team needs to run the Roshan. They barely can take it, honestly. Bar even Trollbert can barely take it. But can Monkey run over? I know he thinks I'm griefing, but like, he's throwing the game by not fighting this. It's not even that low yet. I can get in here. I did as much damage as I could. Oh my god, Roshan's literally 2 HP. <laughs> I mean, I've made this game a complete mess now. Dude, Bristle TP. Does he not see how important this is? It's a 2 HP Roche at 12 minutes. He needs to fight this as Bristle. That is insane for him not to show up. I'm insane for playing Jungle Huskar. Frostbite him? Who is she frostbiting? This is such a mess. I genuinely apologize. I literally mistoggled once and it's created this entire situation. I feel so bad for my team. I genuinely do. Like, I'm obviously not trying to grief Dota games. This game should have been fine, but now it's just this mess because of uh, one mistoggle. I mean, my god. Oh, no. Oh, monkey's dead. He's gonna die if he chases. Hey, actually, better run at me. Are you serious? Really? I'm not that scared of you, bro. You don't have ulti. Yeah, I want to go finish Roche, but I need to push in this mid wave, so I don't 
die to it. All right. Oh my god. I might be able to get Roshan here. I'm not sure. There's a regen. All right, I'll take. My god, I died to that. I think they die, honestly, to Bristle. No, they're gonna get cast stunned here. Oh, baby. Stick. E. Nice. Turn around. Oh, it ruined me. I'm gonna TP in. I'm gonna smoke myself here. I might be able to smoke into the pit and get it. <laughs> I griefed this entire game. <laughs> I'm gonna wait in the pit, but I don't want to hit it here. Oh, wow, I didn't step in front of that. Over. I guess it's low, it's it's high enough HP now, or it's probably not gonna die. So, I guess we can kind of go back to like slightly normal life for a bit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is he rewarding that? Please don't walk in melee range of me. No. Okay. Oh, at least Roche is... I mean, Troll's kind of wasting his time now. That's good. We've, like, seemingly stabled out the game. I don't think Troll can kill Roche because he probably has no items because he hasn't hit a single creep. No one's hit a single creep. <laughs> this is the, the funniest game of Dota I think I've ever played. We've literally had two teams AFK farming. I mean, AFK fighting Roche. I have to wait for the next smoke to come up now. Just try to kill that when it comes up. I can't believe I messed up. One toggle and it caused the game to turn into that. I don't think they can actually rush. Oh, wait, oh, scan it, but yeah, fair enough. Honestly, jump on this guy. It's a bit risky, but. Oof, gonna get the toggle off. Honestly, the CM's crushing them here, but. That's alright. It's a it was a 3v5. Shouldn't have probably shouldn't have went in. Honestly, need to get a BKB ASAP. I think I even should have just went BKB after Halberd just because of like how many blade mills and stuff such they have. Like so many ways to kill me. Also, this guy's rushing on BKB. Oh my god. They're actually really farming on their heroes somehow. Also, CM is level 7, which is tough. Uh, how do I win this game for my team is the question. Is this guy's a Kaya. Saddest thing about this game is I literally, if I didn't misclick that Roche, I would have stomped the entire game. That makes me the most sad. I always managed to walk in melee range of me. Oof, I'm sorry, I can't even think right now. Like, I'm so distracted because of how weird this game has been. Alright, so now that this game is stabled out, the next thing I'm kind of thinking is, like, how can I potentially get back into Roshan? Um, if that's an option at all. I think I kind of have to wait for my Monkey King to be a bit more farmed, because when he gets Ags VKB, which hopefully he'll get to at some point, we can hopefully kill off their top lane. Looks like my team's struggling a little bit right now. Alright, so I, I do want to look to take a team fight at some point. I think the key to my team fights is going to be going in like last. Uh, I need this bristle back to frontline. If he frontlines, I can jump and I can kill their supports really quickly. Like, my hero's a really high DPS hero. It's just pretty squishy. This guy must have ulti, right? Okay, monkey stun's so late, but it is what it is. It worked out. So if we ever get a good pick off by Roche, I'll try to force it just to make the enemy team kind of panic a little bit. But it is a bit tough. I didn't take the lifesteal talent. Um, it's definitely not my main focus. My main focus is just getting farmed. Like, I, I want to basically become, like, a, a fourth core here. And I know it's like, oh, that sounds super greedy. And it is greedy. It is super greedy. But the reality is, you know, like, I know how to farm efficiently. I trust in myself to carry this game. And, you know, when you're becoming a better and better carry player, uh, you know, I think it's good to do that. It's good to trust in yourself. Good to believe in your, uh, in your ability. It's important. And, of course, I'm a high rank, so I have that capability but in general like having confidence and just trusting in what you believe in is important it's not not to the point where you want to delude yourself to where 
you convince yourself that you you are never wrong. It's not like that. I know I'm wrong all the time. Like, for instance, I, I know I'm wrong to, like, you know, mess up that toggle. I know I'm wrong to, like, in a lot of the jumps I probably made this game. I'd have to look them over. Obviously, I'm, I'm a bit more focused on the game than, uh, than analyzing my previous jumps. But you guys see what I'm saying, right? I'm constantly thinking about how I can improve. For now, my way of improving this game is just going to be able to push in the dead lane and farm a BKB as soon as humanly possible. Because, frankly... When I have BKB, I can really do a large number onto the enemy. I'm, I'm actually very strong even right now, I'd say. As long as I can go in last, as I was mentioning before. But Spectres are pretty hard for my hero, I found. The Blade Mail and this, this Manta is very hard for me to man up to. Especially previous to BKB. So I really want to get to this BKB ASAP. Uh, am I getting ganked? Or is he just walking over here? Just walking over here, alright. Pretty hard kill, but I'll walk over. Looks like a free wish doctor killed me. Honestly, I'm gonna hit this. Oh, okay, I can't. That's fine. Okay, they used Taunt. I mean, that's that's a big win. They used Taunt and BKB. That's a huge win for us. Looks like my team's kind of going back in, which. Uh oh. Actually, it looks like it could be alright. If I can. I can, I can maybe cut this Spectre off, because he's going to obviously have to retreat, so... I could actually catch him right here. Oh, he went back in. Use the Q last second. Oh my god! We're back! I can even hit Roche off this, potentially. I actually think it's super big to hit Roche. I wish, I wish this Bristle would have came right away. We definitely could have just hit Roche. We do a lot of damage to Roche right now. Uh, we really could have used this Goo, but that's alright. Honestly, me and the Monkey King shred Roche. There we go. Oh, there's someone there. I don't want to chase onto that hill. That's not worth it. All right, let's just go for a BKB. Wow. All right, all right. we were 0 and 4. Now we're 5 and 6 with 8 assists. Okay. We brought this game back. I just had to slow down the pace. I think a lot of people misunderstand this about Huskar as well, where they get into this stop process that Huskar just immediately loses late game. You have to understand that your hero farms incredibly fast, right? Huskar is, is a really fast farmer. People don't recognize this. Also, my bristle seems to be making some moves right now. But yeah, as I was saying, bristle farms really, really fast. Like, it's actually quite insane. Causes inner fire to reduce healing regeneration by 50% and applies a 40% movement speed slow. Lowers cooldown by 3 seconds. That seems really strong, no? For 4 seconds, I can reduce that much healing? And applies a 40% movement speed slow? And it reduces the cooldown by 3? I'm definitely going to buy this shard later on. That's a really strong shard, actually. I'm going to keep the broom handle. It's a bit of damage and I lack a lot of armor. So I'll keep the broom handle. You know, it's a tier one item. <laughs> Dude, this is bristleback. What is he saying? Guys, I, I'm not, I don't like flaming people. Like, I, but like actually, that's not true. I love flaming people. Uh, but what I was going to say, what's going on here? I don't know about this. We have no bristleback, but I well, we don't want to tank the cask. I don't think I should die this guy. Oh my God, I did. What a waste of my ages. I don't think this guy is BKB. I can go on him, no problem. Disarm him. Dude, can he stop walking up to me when we're getting cursed? <laughs> Troll's dead too, by the way. I'll go for Witch Doctor. We're gonna get cast. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, another big fight for the boys. Another big fight for the boys. So obviously, I need to not die to his blade mail. However, that's really not that tanky, honestly. Might be able to just TP out here, honestly. <laughs> Easy, baby! Yeah! Oh, they're calling GG. I'm level 23. I'm the highest level in the game. <laughs> Dude, they just are overextending so hard there. Big thing about that fight is I didn't pounce in. And I didn't kill myself in the clock blade mail. I think my awareness was important there, right? A little bit of lacking of awareness on the blade mail. I would have just instantly killed myself and that would have been bad. But uh, hey, we're back. We're back into this game. Also, this axe is great. It basically makes you axe call. It gives you increased cast range, which is awesome. 
and it makes them hit you for, uh, I think, five seconds. I think it's the slow duration, so if I'm not mistaken. So it's like a really long stun on the single targets, and it's very, very powerful, especially against supports. It lets you solo kill them, so I definitely want to pick that up next. It's very powerful. Now, looks like there's a fight going on here. It's kind of a weird fight. Sort of just want to push in top. There's no troll, though. I can get this bounty, I think. Yeah. Troll bought a Silver Edge? That's the classic troll mistake. It's like, ah, oh, there's a Bristle back and a Monkey King. I'll buy a Silver Edge. Now, why is that bad, guys? Why is it bad for him to buy Silver Edge? Because it's actually a great Silver Edge game, right? So why is it bad for him to buy its second item? Because he doesn't have a BKB. Who cares if you can break my passive if I can disarm you for eight seconds? It frankly isn't going to do anything. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's why I disagree with that decision. Uh, strongly, as you can tell. It's a strong disagreement. They are right. I should probably swap up my item. I think Mindbreaker is pretty solid just for that extra silence uh, for whoever I go on. Let's farm up this Ags real quick. I'll just wait in the jungle to farm it up. Nice. I I'm so glad this game turned around because honestly, in the early game, I was, I was tilted with myself more than anyone. I was very disappointed in myself for messing up that Roshan. You know, I, I was I hate when I, you know, uh, we all get into our own heads. But the key is like you kind of just when you get into your own head, you have to like think back to, OK, what wins me this game of Dota 2, right? And I'm like, okay, Halberd BKB, right? Especially the BKB, but also going in second. People always look at Huskar as a frontliner, but if I'm not having a good game, I'm not a frontliner, you know? I'm just going to insta-die. However, you're a high DPS hero regardless. Void Spirit's in, all right? He is in, so let's go hit some creeps. But yeah, just keep that in mind. We still can lose these fights. I'm still, you know, a bit nervous about that. We can also get to level 25 as soon as possible. We can get the Burning Spears pure damage, which is a really nice talent. So much damage. Is this real? I have my axe. I think he's about to... A... <laughs> what? What? That guy must be tilted out of his mind, which I don't blame him, you know. If I went that bad of an item, I'd be tilted too. I I'm curious to see how long this uh, axe jump is. Oh, it's three seconds. Okay, it tells you. I don't know why it doesn't tell you before. That's kind of annoying. But uh, it's three seconds. I mean, that's so much time for killing a support, you know. Okay. Part of me almost wants to buy a silver edge for the, just for the specter. That matchup's so annoying. I want to try out this Ags gem. Come here, baby. Oh, look, he's going to run at me. <laughs> nice. That's cool. I can just punch him. Let's wrap around the side. I don't really want to jump. I want to jump this Earth Spirit. Look, he's going to run towards me. Nice. Look how powerful that is, dude. The life break. So powerful. It's actually a three second stun and a nine second cooldown. And they have to hit you. Like, the thing is, most heroes deal with Huskar not by auto attacking them, but by, rather by kiting him, right? He's a very kitable hero. Um, a lot of the time, because, you know, he's always in your face. He's always going to be in range of spells, so that's why. Oh my god, we're just straight up winning. Who cares about the Switch Doctor buyback? That's not going to do anything. I can tell you that for sure. In fact, he might just die if he walks up too close. I'm not going to... I don't want to overextend 2R because... Uh, hopefully we put down a sentry. I'm going to split it because he's going to stun me if anyone. Oh, okay. Alright, there's no tier 2. Let's go get the tier 2. I don't know what my team's doing, but this is some hot garbage. I'll honestly pounce on this guy. It doesn't rage him. Oh, am I going to die to the tower? Nice. The taunt lets my monkey king hit him. Look, uh, people tell me, uh, you know, you're not a real position 4 speed. You're fake. Oh, I can't die to this guy right now. No, why did I why did I walk up like that? Wait, I should have pounced to someone else. Why didn't I just life break across? Dude, I lost my focus. But yeah, as I was saying, speed. They say speed. You use your spells. They say speed. You're not a real position for it. You're not stunning anyone. Oh no, the Spectre is going to carry the game now. <laughs> He's level 25. We lost. Uh, I'm stunning people left and right. I don't know what you're talking about. But as I said, I cannot frontline. Troll is not a good matchup for me when he has BKB. Which is why he should have rushed to BKB. Because then his hero actually... Counters my hero, uh, but I should have life breaked away. I could have, I could have gotten out there. That was, that was just bad to be honest. So tough. Next up, I kind of want to buy a ghost scepter to be honest. Like that sounds crazy, but I feel like the only way I die is if I get focused by troll or specter in like abyssal duration. I don't know. I could also go blink just to blink it on top of people. I might even go silver edge, just break the specter, taunt him, let my team kill him. Could also just buy an armor item. I have no armor. AC is totally fine. That's probably the safest item, to be honest, just buying AC. 
But I do like the idea of E-Blade. It's, it's quite nice. I can save my teammates too, which is cool. So, I don't know. I'll try it out. I think E-Blade's also good with my ulti technically, because, you know, I do 44% damage uh, of their health, and I think it works with the E-Blade. I can amp that up, so that's nice. Where's my team going? I guess they're sitting on a DD. I suppose that's pretty reasonable. I should just jump this guy mid, honestly. This guy just forced that? Oh man, we missed our spell. I think he probably hit both of them with that, right? Yeah. This guy's got haste, but he's about to get double taunted. Dude, this, this clock is on something else, man. He is sicko mode right now. As I said, I still can die. By the way, you cannot BKB and Ghost Scepter at the same time. The game simply does not let you, so I have to pick one or the other and keep that in mind. I'm not going to use my Q to push out this wave just in case they jump in. I want to have it. You know, my Q is a very, very strong spell against Spectre. I guess we can honestly just try to end the game. It's a bit risky. But whatever. Oh, we have an AC already? Oh, okay. These buildings are going to melt. They gave up. Can I taunt him even during BKB? Oh, I can. But look, right? Spectre ultis? I just disarm all of his illusions. It's actually so good. Oh, nice. I got him. There we go, baby! The game's over! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. Dude, this game would have been... You see how easy this game would have been if I didn't th throw that Roche? Think about it. What would I have done after I got Aegis? I would just kill the Roche. I would farm up my next item. I would go bottom. I'd buy the Scepter like the fish just said. I'd buy the Scepter. And then I'd pounce on the support. Solo kill them. Boom, my team kills everyone else. Easy. Easy game. Easy, easy game. Oh my god, that was fun. <laughs> Not the beginning. That was a mess. Man, I was so tilted. Oh god. Like, I really stopped talking when I'm tilted. Like, I don't tilt a lot, but like, man, that tilts me when I make something... Like, make such a dumb play, but... Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> oh god. Woo! I'm glad my team eventually came to Roche. I got pretty nervous, but thank god barely any heroes can Roche that early into the game. Even Troll. Troll can't Roche, because his mischance doesn't work on Roche, so he just cannot tank it. So they couldn't they couldn't actually kill it, even though it was like 1 fourth HP. They just can't, uh, <laughs> which is hilarious. But all right, hope you guys learned a lot from that mess. You know, hit your timings. Oh, this guy <laughs> Make sure to get your gamers class sub. I wonder if this guy knows who I am. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, yeah, too much fire troll forgot the farm. I mean, he even remembered to farm sometimes. He just bought a silver edge, which is just... It's like such a classic, it's such a classic uh, ancient mistake where it's like this overthinking of the game, uh, which is like, instead of buying BKB, which is just integral to um, troll, like you cannot play the game, you cannot play, he also, yeah, he got a 20 minute battle fury, which is just insane, but uh, you cannot play the game on troll with, with no BKB, most games, and I learned that the hard way in one of my DPC games, so we all, we all, uh, you know, we learned it at different points, so I'm not, I'm not trying to like make this guy seem like he's just, I'm like, bot, you know. I totally understand his decision, and who know, maybe maybe like a year ago, I might have made the same mistake. Even maybe not too long ago, but yeah, just keep that in mind. If the enemy team has so many disarms and stuns and frostbite, you cannot avoid items like this. And, you know, even the Spectre, I think, um, going blade mail is, it's alright, it's a decent blade mail game, but I think he needs a Manta as soon as possible, so he doesn't get stuck in things like Monkey, monkey Ult and my disarms and and Frostbite and things like that, but they also never synergize. They never smoke ganked wands. That's like the classic thing with these ancient games. They don't ever click smokes, and my team didn't really smoke. We did at the end there. That's what ended the game. We smoked, caught them off guard, boom, the game's over. That's pubs in a nutshell. But all right, thanks for guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.